everyone. So today Carolyn and I are potting on our Tierra cabbage. So we thought it would be fun to show you guys how we do that. So we direct seeded into this 72 cell tray, the cabbage, and the technique is called pricking out. So what we're going to do is we're just going to, you grab the seedling gently and you kind of just pinch the bottom of the cell while you lightly tug the cabbage and you it should just pop out. I like having the cell tray on its side and let gravity kind of also be at play. So I'm pinching the bottom, tugging the cabbage and it plops out. So that technique's called pricking out. So once they're pricked out of the cell trays, we're then going to pot them on into these two and a half inch pots. And so it's not absolutely necessary to prick out from the 72s into the two and a half inch pots and then put them into the garden. But I find that the cabbages being heavy feeders, they absolutely love it and they always do really well. And that allows the cabbage baby to develop a much larger root ball before it goes into the garden. So this is what the root ball looks like when it comes out of the cell totally fine to go directly in the garden but we pot them on and then it has this bigger root ball which is allowing it to access more nutrients once it goes into the soil and so we've got this is what we're going to be potting the soil mix is our own aged compost mixed with the um, sunshine mix so there's the po sterilized potting mix mixed in with our own personal compost aged compost and so what we're gonna do is we put a little bit of soil into our pot. And then these are the cotyledons. So you can see the difference between the true leaves and the first leaves to emerge. So these are the cotyledons. And cabbage, most brassicas will actually root along the stem. So we're always trying to bury them deeper to encourage more rooting. So what I do, is I actually remove the cotyledons. You can put them into a plate or a bowl and then toss these into a salad after. They're totally edible and super delicious. So I pinch the cotyledons and you just want to have a little bit of soil in the bottom so that the root ball is not touching the plastic. And then you're going to sit, I hold the transplant and then you're just going to fill around all the way up the stem right until the first set of leaves and I know it looks like you're burying the plant pretty deep you don't want to bury the grow tip so this is the grow tip of the cabbage plant here so you just want to make sure that that's not covered it's lightly tamped down and then we'll moisten the entire flat after. Then we'll grow the little baby cabbages in here for probably just about two weeks or until I tip this out and see how much roots have established and then we'll plant them into the ground. So that's how we prick out our cabbages and get them ready for the next stage of their growing life. 